Good morning. Welcome back to Bible and Blues. It is Tuesday. And I obviously needed a little bit more sleep this morning, didn't I? Uh, so, you know, here I am. I'm at work. Still getting my reading in. And even though this morning I couldn't eat right, I couldn't drink my coffee right, and I'm going to have to have a chance to change my shirt. But you can't see it because by the miracle of framing, it's down below here. So, <laughs> there you go. But, uh, let's go ahead and do Psalm 93 is what we're doing today. Uh, if you are a regular watcher and listener of this, thank you for returning. Always appreciate you. If you're new, if this is the first time you've seen this, usually I, ha I have, uh, uh, go check out some of my other stuff because I don't do it in the car very often. Um, although today's background is pretty nice, even though there's a fence there with barbed wire on top. But we still have... You know, some nice trees and some brush and some greenery, um, some birds chirping in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. It'd be nice if you can. So, without further ado, let's read Psalm 93. The Lord reigns. He is robed and he is robed in majesty. The Lord and his. Well, let me start that over again. You don't have to be perfect to read the Bible or to be a Christian. You, gotta, you just make it up as you go, right? You just kind of become better as you go. Because that's how God works. He takes us where we are. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and is armed with strength. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. Your throne was established long ago. You are from all eternity. The seas have lifted up, O Lord. The seas have lifted up their voice. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than the thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, the Lord is on high, on high is mighty. Your statutes stand firm. Holiness adorns your house for endless days, O Lord. Here is the reading of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So that was definitely this. This Psalm ninety three is definitely one that's just um, it's it, it is written as a song with the, with the repeating verses and the and the, and the cadence and the and the changes. Um, that's kind of what kind of messed me up because I wasn't expecting it. Did I just see a bird go right there? So, so anyway, um, so that that was that was actually a nice little read this morning, wasn't it? And the Lord reigns; He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty. That's what made me stumble. And is armed with strength. The world is firmly established; it cannot be moved. So, you know, um, you. you you know, one of the things uh, uh, that's kind of unrelated to this, because um, it's just something that's, that's uh, been kicking through my head uh, for a while now, um, is, you know, I, I mean, we've been here on this planet, depending upon if you have young Earth or, or, or uh, old Earth viewpoint, uh, personally, I've, I'm mixed on that particular bag. Um, on the one hand, there's a lot of evidence that states I mean, it's, it's really incontrovertible evidence that the world is billions of years old. Our Earth is billions of years old. Okay. On the other hand, my my you know, we also have the fact that we have a God who created the entire universe, and then when He created us, uh, we among all of nature on this Earth, at least, have been given the opportunity to choose to follow, follow God or not, and have been given this great gift of choice, okay? And so from that perspective, okay, and since, you know, you know God's, God's throne, is, he's been ruling on his throne for all of eternity, okay? But from that perspective, could God have created the earth with in mind, you know what, I want them to be able to choose me freely, that means I have to show another choice, I'm not saying that's what God did because, you know, that's not, I mean, you know, th this is really digging into some weeds that um, I don't have time to really get into, but just thoughts that go through my head about these things. We, you know, but in order to give us a choice, we, in order for us to have a choice, to make a choice, to choose God or not choose God, um, we have to be given a choice of God or not God. I mean, and so he had to create things like, you know, the history and the carbon dating, uh, 
the rest of the universe, who knows uh, how far this could go. I mean, this is a rabbit hole. On the other hand, um, there's another theory that kicks up, kicks through my head. Uh, one that I heard, uh, uh, it was a theory of, oh, there's a guy welding over there. That sounds kind of cool. Um, <laughs> don't look directly at it. So uh, there's another theory that I, that, that I, that I have. And this is, uh, kind of comes out of the Book of Enoch. Um, and, I, and, I've, and I've heard of it in, in a couple other places. Uh, Alfonso Rachel uh, of uh, Bible, doing his Bible tripping series, he talks about this possibility uh, that the um, uh, the angels were created before us. Now that there is little doubt as far as those the, the theistic points of view, the angels were created before us. So, and it's like they were the trial run or something like that. Okay, uh, and so you know, we just showed up to the earth only more recently. The earth was definitely here for much longer because the angels inhabited. Now, where's the proof of that? Well, there's all kinds of ancient archaeological evidence out there that's unexplainable. The hammer in, of London, of London, Texas, by the way, uh, is one of them. Uh, strange, strange carvings, uh, footprints, things like that. We don't know what it is. So anyway, that's just something I want you to chew on and uh, leave a comment to what you think about it down below in the comment section. Uh, be sure to subscribe, uh, click the notifications. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I do content every single morning. Uh, usually don't go down this little rabbit hole, but it's what's been in my, in my mind lately. So, um, tell me what you think about it and y'all have a great, great Tuesday and in God's name, amen. And God bless you.